Welcome back to Life to the Max. He is an artist and he is very good, but there is so much more to it than just what ends up on the canvas. Laura Goodrich has that story. Somebody asked me a long time ago what it's like to be an artist. I said, well, it's becoming uh, comfortable with different levels of frustration. And I think being an artist really is about the journey of being an artist. There's no end. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. For one local artist, a picture, a portrait, a painting is worth just one, passion. If you can't feel it and, and bring it through your piece, it's not gonna come out on the other side. Jeff Renanko is a native Minnesotan with an infectious personality. First and foremost, a family man. Jeff has a tradition of capturing each of his three daughters at age five. What's amazing about your artwork is how it is so personal and so you, know, you can have such a relationship with her. Well, I think it, it was easier with the kids, you know, the, compared to going with a client, you have to really sit down and get to know them for a long time. He's an artist, and that's, that's his gift, to be able to express through his work the, the emotions and the, the feelings and the mood and the sense that he's trying to communicate to the viewer. When Dad was diagnosed with a, uh, a terminal disease, we decided to go ahead and, 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 and have Jeff paint this, this piece, which we're just delighted with. It, it, it turned out to be um, what we wanted, a, a piece that would, that would serve as a, a lovely testament to my father and my mother and our little daughter, Alice. Well, my husband and I titled it The Painting Tea with Alice. Alice is the name of this little granddaughter. When we were working with Jeff and he was trying to get a good composition, a good pose, and trying to have Alice concentrate on us, my husband said, well, let's try this. And he picked up one of the flowers and started to hand it to her. And of course, her little arm went up. Mm -hmm. And it, it made the circle of his offering and her accepting and the beautiful tulip in the middle. I think it's a rarely beautiful expression of what happens between grandparents and grandchildren. Well, I remember the day that Jeff finally brought the painting over and it was wonderful. We were all just filled with joy because it, we were so happy with how the painting had turned out. This is a process, it should be a process. It's not just sitting down and painting a likeness of who they are. Jeff's own story as a painter is an unconventional one. He began studying biology at St. Thomas and was set on a career for medicine. With no formal training as an artist, Jeff finished his degree and soon met the Italian trained painter, Charles Kapsner, who he would eventually apprentice with for five years and begin his new path to painting. It was literally an epiphany. I walked into the studio, saw all the paintings and knew that second that that's what I was supposed to do. So then you begin going through training. Talk to me about kind of how things transitioned moving forward. Oh boy, you can't will it, you can't read too much, you can't do anything other than work really hard. It's like anything else, I call it brush mileage. The more times a brush hits the canvas, the more you're gonna learn. In addition to creating commission pieces for his clients, Jeff teaches portrait and still life classes to graduate level students at his studio that he co-founded in 1999 in St. Paul. How did the whole concept of the school come to be? My partner Joseph Paquette, him and I, decided one day that maybe we just need to kind of go out and do our own thing and see what happens. It's a big risk. You go out there and you don't have a whole student body to bring along with you. You just go out there and work and build and create the place and then hope people show up. Finding something in the arts was the thing that uh, makes it feel like I'm not having to go to work every day, but I'm loving something so much that I can bring and create something that's just from me. For more information on Life to the Max, go to our website at lifetothemax.tv.